I should have called this video insult to injury. That's kind of the way it feels. If you remember, I actually reviewed the Leatherman Garage. I think that was number three, which is parts. And I had some uh, strong words to use when we were evaluating whether it, not only was it a good idea, but would we ever consider paying that much? Needless to say, this is taking that same concept, maybe making some major improvements and also cutting the price in half with better materials. That's kind of what we have here. Now with the exception of the blades. So we'll talk about that as well. This is a modular folding knife out of titanium with nine CR18 MOV blades, a G10 backspacer, and you can see why the insult to injury kind of comes up here. That's the same coloration they were using with the Leatherman Garage, which I think is quite funny. And uh, frame lock with an over travel stop. Like there's a lot of little details here and just, just check this out. The action on this thing is legit amazing. I, I mean, very, very, very impressive. And there's no detent lash, no movement whatsoever, even with, with all of these extra pieces going on, nothing. Now that's part of, partly because of the way these attach. Now I should mention, I didn't find this. I saw this on another uh, knife reviewers channel and uh, I had to try it for myself. This just looks too funny. And uh, I, I mean, it's, I don't think it's practical. It's absolutely a novelty, but come on. It's just cool, right? They took mill titanium. That's actually, that's not a separate piece. That actually is part of this single piece of titanium. And then you basically just set your blade in there, just hold it in place, and then you're good to go. You could just, let me see if I can do it with my hands until I need to tighten it. So that just sticks in there. That just sticks in there. There we go. And then you're going to need a T8. It comes with this as well, but pretty much any T8 would work. And there you go. And that's the blade that it comes installed with. I really do like the drop point blade as well. But how can I argue with this? A new, cool novel product for around 75 bucks that's made of titanium, has what might be a pretty useful uh, serration, full serrated blade. And actually, why are we having so much trouble with the focus here? Seriously, bro. Anyway. I think this is a very, very cool knife. I don't think that it's a practical, useful tool in any particular way. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know down in the comments. Is this something that you would consider using? Do you see an advantage to it? I'm very, very interested in your opinions. And I want to thank you guys. Find If you find more cool stuff like this, certainly let me know. Anyway, I, I am pretty impressed with the way they have actually come about doing this. The action is far superior to anything that I had with the um, Garage Series 3. And the way they have done it where the connection point does not use a small little tiny screw, but rather um, sandwiches the blade between two strong points, this makes a whole lot more sense from a design perspective. So I really do like the way they have interpreted this and done it a little bit differently. Anyway. If you were going to choose, which blade would you would you use? Sorry, this, these are having a hard time focusing here. Which blade would you use? The um, sheep's foot, the fully serrated or drop point. And do you think this has any merit? Are there other blade shapes or other types of you know items you would want to see where this could work? Firstly, the one the first thing I want with this is I would love this to have an adapter for utility blades. That is the number one thing I would like to see with this. So if they did that, and maybe even also had one for a scalpel holder, I would be all over it. And i um, happy to add to this awesome little collection. Anyway, thanks again for watching. I appreciate your time, and we'll talk again soon.